Hello, gents and gentettes. Talfat McFenbury here, and I'm going to be playing some Limbo. I haven't played the game before, and, uh, you know, I've had it for a long time, so I felt it was a good time to start playing it, because my friend told me to play it. That's not a very good reason at all. But whatever, here I am now, and I am going to be playing it. Right now it already looks to be a very simple looking game, to say the least. Hang on, let me see what the controls are. But yeah, I played it for about five minutes. And that's the extent I got to before I decided that I'd actually record it. But let us see how far I can get. Well, I mean, I'm, I can only assume that I can beat this game. From what my friend told me, it's not exactly a game that's too difficult. And from the five minutes that I've played, that sort of proves to be the truth. So let's keep on jumping through this black and white and gray world as this weird big-headed boy with glowing white eyes, which he probably got due to radiation. Hello, sailboat. We meet again. It was once I landed that I restarted, so I guess not really five minutes that I played for, but really about one. I missed you. You were my only friend in this harsh world. I love you. Oh, that looks too high for me to jump already. And could easily see the handle on this boat. So time to pull that all the way over here. Find that and find that. Um, okay, that is grabbable. It's a silly vine wall. Ooh. Climbing the black rope, climbing the black ledge, walking along the black ground. Hop, hop, hop along the black ground. One thing I notice about this game is there's a, just a constant background noise of like, I don't know if it's really white noise, but that's the closest that I could really describe it as. Okay, that was close. Hopefully I don't need these for anything. Don't think I could pull them up this that ledge back there. Ooh. Let's see. I think I'm going to include a death counter on this video. Or the series of videos, the strolling abouts. And see how many deaths I get before the end. Alright, that's obvious. <laughs> Maybe I should go get some alcohol and drink every time I die. Judging by my fucking Dark Souls playthrough, that's probably not a good idea. But we'll see how it goes. That is a rock. That is a giant, hairy, broody looking rock. And I do not appreciate it. Alright, hop up that ginormous log. Let's see. Right now this game seems very devoid of life. I hope that's really not the case. Because just constantly walking could get boring. Let's pull this over here. Come on. Obviously you have to grab that rope and swing it. I had better go up a bit, don't want to miss. Because missing happens a lot in these games. Come on. Oh. Oh, that's 
to death. Damn it, have to do that again. Oh, that's one to the death counter. Really shouldn't have tried jumping down there with it. But whatever. At least now I know that there's fall damage in this game. Climb off of it. Don't forget to yawn. And swing. And jump. And jump again. And run. And stroll about and jump again. And climb and turn around and jump. And climb and run. And jump and climb and run again. And jump and push things. And then run. And then jump. And that looks like a collectible up there. Too far gone to get it now. Not into the whole collectible things and games. Because once I get one, well, I just have to collect them all. And then I spend all my time looking for them. And I don't exactly want to do that this playthrough. I'm just going to... Go through the game as is. Maybe if I accidentally grabbed that rope, I would have grabbed it, but... I digress. Man, I really shouldn't be doing this this early and not having any sleep. Alright, um, what do I do? Find a bear trap up there. Do I have to bring him over here? Come on. Come on, friend. Come on, you spider-looking creep. Okay, you're just gonna... There you go. Alright. Okay. Multiple clanks, that means that it fell. And since that guy slams his little legs on the ground, I can only assume that I have to make him die by the bear trap. Yep. Not too hard. Fuck. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Holy shit. That broke. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I thought he was going to stab me. Oh. That was a bit worrisome. But, time to continue on. The oh. I almost died. Hey, sliding. There needs to be more sliding in games. Man, there's really not much to comment on in this game, other than the art style, but the art style is really just black and white and grays. It's pretty simplistic. Don't get me wrong. Looks, oh god, I'm stuck. What the hell? I have to jump out of it? No. Come on. What? Okay, I'm not dead. Where am I? No. Interesting. Well. Oh, oh, I moved. I'll probably just have to shake to get this stuff off, don't I? Yep, that's easy. Yep, keep on pelvic thrusting, man. You'll get it eventually. Hop, 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 hop. Jump. Oh. A lot of hopping involved. Which is just fine with me, because I love hopping. I can only assume that that hole would have been certain death anyways. I was not paying attention. <laughs> oh. Nice. Alright, this game's pretty easy. So far. I can only assume that's gonna follow me. Nope, 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 nope. Ooh, I Again, I almost jumped forward and died. I'm a bit too careless in video games. 
Oh, yo, oh, no, 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 oh, that was spikes. All right, that's one of those old school balance on the ball as it spins and rolls gameplay mechanic. Jump, 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 jump. Yay, how exciting. Watch me as I roll. And, oh, there's the spider again. I do not like him. I am, I am not a fan. Luckily, I'm not arachnophobic. Otherwise, this could be very, very scary for me. Even though, I mean, technically you could say it's not a spider. I mean, how many legs does it have? Oh, never mind. It has five legs now, and it had it's already chopped off three, so it was. It was a giant spider. But you didn't see it in gruesome detail, so that's all fine. Looks like my guy has a little bit of spunk stuck in his hair. Jesus, reminds me of my prom night. Well, that looks inviting. Oh, okay, yeah. At least the spunk fell off. And that's a bear trap. That is a bear trap. Oh my. That was ridiculously close. Oh, you know what? Forget what I said about this game being simplistic. I think it being simply strictly a few colors like this, or shall I say lack thereof color, it really makes the game not harder, but if that bear trap was an actual color, I would have definitely seen it a lot earlier. Since everything blends in, you have to be on your toes about the environment, it seems. Obviously, I have to jump over that, and... Sometimes when I make jumps in video games, I just think that I'm not going to... Oh, not going to make it. Fabulous. Add another to the death counter. Jump. Jump. <laughs> jump again, and jump again. This time, I will jump, and I will make it. And I will keep hopping. Hopping on the black ground in the black forest. With my black little, oh Jesus, black little boys. This kind of sounds racist. Hell, oh, that's, that looks like a fake spider leg. Oh, there is life in this game. Come back here, man. Why did you attack me? I want answers, even though you most likely won't tell me. Oh, that is that is a that is a rolling thing, and I do not think you know, I would definitely not have been able to jump over that. All right. Oh, that was close. That's right, assholes. No, they're actually assholes. I was just saying assholes in general. I thought there would only be one asshole. Magnificent. Look at these ladder climbing skills. I don't think anybody could be on par with my amount of skills of climbing a ladder. So that is a lynched man. There's some um, bear traps there. So you gonna... Oh. Oh. Nope, not gonna go over there. Because there are two bear traps, and I do not think I'd be able to grab the ledge and jump over them. So just, uh, no, 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 no. Saw that he was pulling the rope up. Didn't want to die. There's another rope swing in the background. So it's not on fire and rolling at me. Hello, log. That's right, I could tell you were a log with your little branch sticking out. Follow me now, spider. Okay, he's not afraid of the water. I was sort of counting on that. Climb this and jump. Nope. Nope, can't climb that. Okay, probably have to stand on this. There you go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, 
Jesus. Spider. Oh. Oh, wow. That was, oh my god, come on. Okay, good. He fell. Break. And run. Yeah, that's only obvious. Goodbye, spider friend. I can only hope you remain dead this time. Hmm. <sighs> Alrighty. So, what must I do? This seems to be one of those games where you just keep going to the right. Will I ever truly go to the left? Besides occasionally going to the left to grab the stray item? Only time will tell as I jump along these rocks. Oh no, oh no, oh, that was close. If I jumped any further than that, I probably would have died. It's running faster than just constantly jumping, oh. Hello, spider. Oh, no, 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 no. Ha! You're dead. I can grab you. Ugh. Uh. Okay, that's kind of gross. And the leg is twitching. That is more disturbing than it is gross. Uh. I, uh, I can only imagine pushing a fucking giant spider torso. That would be quite a disgusting experience. Is that purring coming from the spider? Yes, it was. That purring was coming from the spider. Oh my god, that just made it so much more creepy. Hey, a crow! Or is it a raven? Let's ask Edgar Allan Poe. Maybe he can tell me. Let's climb this ladder. How brilliantly exciting! Um, jump? Nope. Okay, yep. For a second I thought that wasn't going to work. Hello, box. Will I have to go get the other box? This doesn't look high enough for me to jump. Huh. Well, I guess it is. Good. Hmm. Keep on running to the right. Shoo dooby doo ba to doo ba doo 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 Maggots. Maggots. Gross. Um, can I jump on that body? I can only assume so. Oh, that is not a happy moment. Hello? Alright. So, he has a maggot on his head. So, I already know that if there's any maggots in this game, I should avoid them. I'm probably going to have to bring this body, aren't I? Since I can drag it, I think that pretty much means that I have to use it. Looks like that's a tripwire down there. And I can only bet that it's gonna send that huge block of whatever the fuck that is sending down at me. Yep. I'm too good. I'm too good at this game. Some people ask me what game I'm too good at. I'll reply with Limbo. Oh, I can jump on them. And they just ate that maggot. Alright. Um, all right, probably have to jump onto that thing, and then jump onto that, thing. or not, okay, I guess that's one of those tricky things developers put in, let me guess, I have to not step on that, yep, okay, that was obvious, nope, oh, I can already tell, that those guys want to kill me. And that guy's dead. And that guy's gonna fall for that trap. Then this last guy's gonna fall for that. I'm gonna stand right close. Right close. I witnessed their deaths. And I enjoyed them. Whee! Um, that is 
That just looks like such a far jump. Yet I can make it without having to climb. <laughs> Keep on running to the right. Oh, okay. So, bring this over here. I mean, again, if you can drag it, you can only assume that it has to go somewhere in these types of games. Oh. Um. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that falls. Should have figured. And then I can only assume that I do not want to touch those saw blades. Awesome. Oh no. I have to grab it. Oh no! Damn it! I missed. Well, I didn't miss. I just let go like a stupid idiot. A stupid idiot face. So pull this thing to the top once again. Oh well, this seems like a good place to take a break, so see you gents and gentettes later in the next episode of Limbo.